Okay, so we're uh, back now and we've given this uh, front side a few hours to uh, dry out here. And uh, as, you, as you can see, it uh, has dried and you can see uh, how, what type of texture the uh, four inch roll, roll, roller le 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 left here. Um, so if you just wanna come around here with the camera and I'll slowly open this so you can see the uh, reflection and the sheen. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to work on the insides here. Now, normally be, before you, you see what you start to paint, you want to caulk all these old open gaps here, wherever it's black here, because the previous what was uh, white, so wherever there's a gap, it's, it's, it's going to be black. Now, on the front side, there are none be, be, because somebody had already caulked all these gaps in here. Um, but if there are any gaps, you definitely want to caulk them first and then paint on the top of that. But do your caulking after your sanding and your deglossing. Um, so we're going to get started with, uh, with uh, the inside of this here. So with my two and a half inch brush, I'm just going to load up like that there. And on these, there are, there's, there's like an edge there. So you definitely want to work the paint into these edges here. Come across here, load back up. So cut in these edges first. Okay, now since we left the hinges on the doors, we're just gonna have to cut around them. So I'm just gonna load up with a little bit of paint there, okay? and I'm gonna get rid of the paint there. So now my brush is flat. Now I'm gonna use my, le my left hand here and just kinda like work it closer. Okay, and then come up top here and work it down. And now in the corner, work that in there. And now with my right hand, I'll come up from the bottom and just slowly work the paint in there and around that edge come down and feather that off there. And I'll just smooth that off there. So that takes care of that one. I'll load back up. Now since there's too much paint on my brush, I'll get rid of it there. Come in from the bottom, the side, corner, take my left hand, come down, and come into it like that there. Now since we're using a latex paint, if you do get any paint onto the metal hinge, just let it dry and just use like your fingernail or a small tool to, uh, to remove it. It's not like we're using oil, so it'll just come right off. Um, so I'm going to cut in this corner here. Okay, so we spread, so now I'm going to put this down and now I'm going to take my four inch by quarter inch nap roller here and I'm going to blow it up. A lot, a lot of paint, as you can see it there. I'm gonna transfer this to uh, the middle here, and then just like kind of slowly work it to the outside to disperse the paint. And I'm just going up and down now. Okay, now I'm gonna turn it around here and work it into the corner. And I'm gonna come as close to the hinge as uh, possible there. Up here, turn it so it's perpendicular, go across like that. Now I'm gonna reload this up here. So I, I don't want I need to put the paint there, but I don't want to get it all in the cracks, so I'm gonna put it again in the middle of it. Okay, and that's gonna get rid of a lot of paint. Now I'm gonna bring it into this corner here and just roll this up and down. Now in, in the corner here, I should have hit that with a brush, but if you kind of like tilt the roller to the side, that should take care of it there. And we'll roll that off there. So now it's all covered on, it, do, it uh, doesn't look perfect. I still have the sides to do too. So we're just gonna come down the side like that and go back up. And that's gonna take care of that. Now you, you don't, you don't want to press too hard because if you press too hard, you're gonna leave an edge of paint on this side there. So. With the top, I, I can't see it. I'm going to need something to step on, which I don't have right now, so I'm going to leave that out here. And with the bottom, we're just going to roll out the bottom here. And since the front side is dry, I can use my hand to keep that. So 
once you have it like like that, now we're just going to use the roller to um, to roll out the whole face and to even out the paint so it looks nice and it covers nice. Okay, I'm going to turn the roller like that now because I'm going to get to this corner here. Come up there and come as close to that hinge as that possible. Now there is a lip right here, so and it's kind of creating like an edge there. So I'm going to turn the roller like that and come into the corner like that. So if there is an excess of paint, then that is going to take care of that there. And since we were going up and down, that takes care of that. And there's nothing here because this is basically flat there. Um, so this is going to get one more coat over here. Now, before I, I was telling you about the gaps and how you want to caulk those first, uh, I'm going to put this down here and um, we're, we're going to come over here now. And I, I had just painted this here because as you can see, um, there's a huge gap here and there's a gap here and there's a gap here and there. So you definitely want to caulk this. So I painted this red first so that the caulk that I'm going to use, you'll be able to see it. Um, so this is a, a brand new tube of caulk here. And uh, it's very important to cut the, the uh, tip off in the right way or else if you don't, then uh, it's just, then you're too, like too much caulk is not gonna come out and you're gonna make a mess. So you only wanna leave the right amount of caulk as to not make a mess and as to not smear the caulk to the right and to the left of those gaps here. So what I do is this, is I take my caulk gun and we have a hole right here and when you press the gun in right there, uh, there's a blade that comes right here and that cuts off the uh, top of it. So I'm gonna put this in on a 45 and there's probably like a quarter, no less than a quarter of like an inch there and I'm gonna cut it on a 45. And as you can see, that I didn't cut it at that far enough because you don't see the hole there. So I'm gonna put it back in there. And uh, oh, wait, there, are, it, there is a hole. I'm sorry, I uh, didn't see it. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna extend this piece of metal here and you stick that in the hole and it'll pierce the, the uh, inside of that. And um, so now it's uh, ready to go. But before we uh, do that, whenever you cut it, it'll leave like a jagged edge right there. So the best thing to do is I like to use a piece of sandpaper and sand that down. Now, if you don't sand this down, then this will cut the surface of whatever you're caulking. So you definitely want to sand that down and round that off so that when you apply the gun to the surface, it won't scratch it as bad as it could have because there was that loose piece there. So, and to uh, load it, I just pull that back there, stick the end in there, and look at the direction of it and point it so that it's down and then squeeze it. And when you start to squeeze it, you'll be able to see it come through right here. It's starting to come through. And now it's at the top and now it's like that. And I take that and I wipe it right there, okay? Or what you can do too is you can use like a wet rag and that helps too, but. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay a bead right here. So I'm gonna put the, the gun in the corner here, ever so lightly, and uh, I'm just gonna pull down. I'm applying a, a light amount of pressure as to not tear up the pre the previous paint job. So with my finger here, I'm gonna start in the middle and work that in there. So, and that is the excess, I'm gonna wipe that right in the corner there. So that's gonna come off there. Now I'm gonna start down here and come across like, like that there. So that is the excess, I'm gonna wipe that there. Now I'm just gonna take my finger along it again and smear it like, like, like that there. So as you can see there, that has been caulked now. So now once this dries, that gets rid of the gaps. So it'll just look like one piece of wood here. So I'll come up here, kind of work that in there. Cut 
come up here. So that's going to take care of that seam there. I'm going to clean off the tip again there, come up to the top here, and just gently do that. Now come to the corner and work the caulk in there. And that's what comes off there. So I'm going to clean that up there. And we have one last side to do here. So again, I'm going to clean that off there, wipe, wipe it there. And I'm going to come up. Start at the top and work my way down. And that's what comes off there. So now depending on how big the gaps is, the caulk is definitely going to shrink. Um, so you may have to caulk twice, but it's very important to caulk because it'll make the end product look a lot better because you won't see any open seams and it'll look like one nice tight um, thing. So um, we're just, I'm just going to let, let, let that dry out and uh, we'll be back to uh, paint the uh, second coat on the back side of the cabinets.